Hey there, I'm going to do a video here on um, five songs that only have two chords in them. And um, we're going to concentrate mostly on the chord aspect of it, um, the left hand part of it, because the right hand would be almost each one of these songs would have to have an individual lesson for them. So I'm just going to basically give you the, the concept of the song. Uh, these are songs that seriously just have two chords in them. And I'm going to show you these chords, and these may not be the exact chords they're using, but it's going to be the same harmony. So you can really um, basically play the song and sing it. Let's say, for example, you know, you're know you at a campground and you want to play a song that's very simple. Um, you don't have to emulate every element of the song. You just have to basically be able to strum the chords. And then everybody sings along, and it's a lot of fun. If you're playing in a cover band, that's a different story. Then you really do have to get down the grooves and the patterns and the right hand stuff or whatever. So uh, probably one of the easiest two chord songs that, that I've ever seen is Horse With No Name by America. And I'm going to put um, links below in the, uh, in the information about each song, just basically the title of the artist and a link to the YouTube video of the song and then also the the uh, chords written out just basically in typewriter tablature. Um, over my shoulder, I'll put the chord up there and the numbers at the bottom of the chord refers to your left hand fingering. So two would be your, your middle finger, three would be your ring finger, one would be your index, and four would be your pinky. And so that's what those numbers refer to. Okay, so uh, Horse With No Name is E minor. <laughs> Okay, it's as simple as that. Zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. And then D6, add nine over F sharp. And that's basically two, zero, zero, two, zero, zero. Okay, now, this is a great moment to tell you, you can't judge a chord by its name. Um, obviously, it sounds very complex. D to D6 add 9 over F sharp, or you could call it D2 6 add, over F sharp, or whatever. Sounds complex, but it's actually a very easy chord. It's just second finger on the on the second fret of the bottom string, and then open A, open D, third fret on the second fret of the G string, and then open B and open E. It's just that. Um, so just like B sounds like an easy chord, B, hey, the B's got to be easy, and then you go try to play, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to break my arm off. Um, and then if you were just to strum all the strings open, one name for that could be E minor 7 at 11. And that sounds like a very complex chord, but it's just all the strings open. So don't be thrown off by the titles or the names of these chords. Um, they will basically, I'll, I'll put them up here, and they're, they're just all basic chords for the most part, or basic shapes. Okay. So E minor to the D chord. Now, the groove on the right hand on that song is a little bit complex. That's what I'm saying. We can simplify it. You can still sing over that. It just doesn't sound quite as much like a song. But the main thing is to get the left hand down. This is a, a, the, the, the idea for this video is for you just to get some chords under your fingers. And then when you want to start working on the right hand side, the groove side of it, then you've got to step it up a notch and start working on that stuff as well. Okay, um, another song that the one I was playing in the intro was uh, What I Got by Sublime. So I'm basically playing a D and a G chord, that's it. And then I'm picking it. That right hand, the picking part of it's a little bit more difficult. You could finger pick it. I'm using a pick. Uh, but basically the two chords are D, which is nothing on the bottom two strings, open D string, second fret on the third string, third fret on the second string, and second fret on the first string, D. And then G, the full G chord that I'm playing is basically third fret, second fret, open, open, third fret, third fret. Like that, okay? some mumble singing here. I don't want to offend anyone. But... Okay, so that's what I got by Sublime. Two chords. It's crazy. Okay, um, and I'm trying to kind of have uh, like a few decades represented and even a few stylistic 
uh, different styles represented here. Um, so I'm going to do Everyday People by Sly and the Family Stone. And the way we're going to do this is just, we're going to play a G chord, but we're just going to use our third finger on the bottom string, third fret, and then our pinky on the top string, third fret. And then I'm going to, I want to deaden that A string with my third finger. So let the, the fleshy part of your third finger kind of touch that string. And it should sound like this. I'm going to pluck individually here. Okay. So it's G chord. And then what they do, everyday people is just two chords. And then they go to a, basically what's a C over G, I believe. And so we're going to add um, the first finger on the first fret of the second string and the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And that's C over G. And what that means is it's a C chord with a G in the bass. C slash G. C triad, G bass. Okay, so this is basically. So it's almost all G chord. It was used for a Toyota commercial. So we have classic rock, folk represented, we have alternative rock represented, we have a little bit of soul, R&B. Now we're gonna hit a little bit of a country song. Achy Breaky Heart is two chords. It's A and E. Let's see. Um, playing A is with these four, these three fingers, not these three fingers. And the reason I do that is because it's a, it's not a lot of real estate there on an A chord to get all the fingers in there. So I'm substituting the pinky and getting rid of the first finger and that way I'm substituting a little bit smaller finger for a little bit larger finger and it gives me a little bit more room. It feels more comfortable. Plus, when I go to the E chord, I just move my second and third finger up one string and add my first finger to the first fret of the third string. And you know, this is a perfect example of one of those times where you could practice a song and if, if you get to the E chord and it takes you a minute to get to it, you're wasting your time playing the song. In other words... And then you gotta go like this and... Okay, if that's the case, what you should do is instead of playing two bars or three bars or four bars of an A chord, um, you need to just play one A chord, one E chord, one A chord, one E chord, back and forth until you can switch without even thinking. Even better if you can switch without even looking. Look away. Okay, one more song, and this one is another alter what I would consider probably an alternative or rock song, but uh, Jane Says by Jane's Addiction. And we're gonna go G to A. Okay, so we've done a song with A and E, Achy Breaky Heart. We did a song, Everyday People, with G, um, and also Sublime. Now we're going to do G to A. And basically, you could just, this is an example of where we could simplify this song and just go. But if I want to play it more like the record, I could do G, okay, which is, you know, three, two, zero, zero, three, three. And I might not even play the second fret or uh, on the A string. I might just go G and then deaden that string and then play the D open, G open, and then top two strings of third fret. Okay. And then when I go to A, I, I'm going to bar, instead of doing the A three finger A, I'm going to just do the one finger A and do a bar right there. And then, don't really want to hit that first string, so it's kind of a middle four string chord version of the A. Okay, so practice that for a while. Okay, then if you
you want to add the lick, it's basically not easy, but it's this. So he's just going, uh, he's barring the first finger with the A chord, and then he's hitting the third fret of the four, third string, I'm sorry, the fourth fret of the third string with the third finger. Com com confused? I am. Um, so, on, off, and then the next string down, the fourth string, do the fourth fret. Of the so it's like this. complex but if you want to add that to to the song eventually once you have it down um, then that's totally fine and it sounds more like the record that way okay so that's my video so far I, I'm gonna come up with more of these and uh, some of them I, I'm trying to keep them not obscure songs but it's amazing how many songs are out there that just have two chords and some of these um, I got from the list that you guys sent that you started putting in uh, the comment section of my simple songs video. And so now I'm kind of showing just a little bit of the song so you can kind of get a sense of it and have some fun playing and learn some songs and uh, not feel like you're, you're just stuck. You know, this is, a, this is a way to kind of push you into the, you know, okay, now I'm playing chords and songs and everything. So I hope you're doing well. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon.